right, continuing along, I have veered off of the Mullica River Trail, which is just over there, maybe 60, 80 feet. I'm on the Mullica River Road, and according to the maps, this road should veer off to the right a little bit and meet up with the Batstow River Road. And I intend on turning right, a hard right, and going back south, south or southeast, down the Batstow River Road and back to my truck. I wasn't going to shoot a part two of this video, but I changed my mind because there's just too many great shapes out here to use a borrowed term <laughs> it's just pure pitch pine Check these out. These little bushes here, which I've shown in other videos, are called sand myrtle. And they've been described as tiny miniature boxwoods. Now these ones here, they're more than knee high on me. These are about the tallest I've ever seen. See how tiny the leaves are? They get white flowers. There's a bunch of that around here. Sand myrtle. They get uh, nice, very small white flowers in the spring. <laughs> but that back there, that's the tallest sand myrtle I've seen, I think. beautiful out here. Can't get over it. No dwarfs or anything, but nothing but pine. No dwarf trees, no giant trees, just trees, but nothing but pine. You can see by the charred lower tree trunks that all this has been control burned. Might have been this past year. The forest floor is covered in some areas with a bracken which is changing for the fall. Yeah, look at how much there is of it here on the right. As far as the eye can see. Now, before I started this part two, I had crossed over a uh, wooden bridge called Constable Bridge. So now I'm on the other side of the Mullica River from where I was before. Here's a ton of these. And these brown things. Still don't know what they are. I don't have any. I'm already on my third memory stick of the day because I've been shooting a lot of video. So this has got to be the last one. Check out these great shapes. I, I may have been on this section of road before, but I don't know. If I have been, it's been a long time, many years. But I know I've not walked on it before. Hey, look at all the tea berry. 
so much of it it's like a ground cover. There's a few berries, not many yet. They're white, they'll be red later. Teaberry, cranberry, blueberry, they're all related in the Heath family. Like mountain laurel and so on. Wow, look at these shapes. Of course, it's overcast. May not be that easy to see. If I don't, if I keep the, if I don't point towards the sky, you should be able to see it. The trees. All right, where are we? Wilderness area, no motor vehicles. Let's do this. I think this is what I want. Of course it takes us into more beauty. Hey, here's an oak tree, what do you know? Man, pine trees as far as the eye can see. every shape and size. See this is what the uh, fire lines look like that they plow. Yeah, none, none in that direction. What they plow when they uh, do controlled burns or when they're fighting a wildfire, they, they plow those lines. They have a special plow behind a small bulldozer tractor. Mm -mm -mm. Check these trees out. And without maps or without any prior knowledge, you could so easily get lost out here and you can walk for days. No exaggeration. I know that uh, Pine Power LI will really enjoy this. Check out that white sand, huh? I know he'll really enjoy this. It's his favorite type of forest. I want to look at this one tree. And then we'll, we'll end the video there. Just do a quick pan around. See that all in all directions, nothing but pine. All right, until next time, folks, take her easy.